All right, so if you're feeling dizzy and you're having a lot of issues organizing your work as a developer and keeping track of all the technologies and everything that you're doing in your life, well, in this video, we'll try to see the best practices that you need to follow and also what organization plan I do for myself as a full stack developer, as a content creator, and I keep track of a lot of projects and a lot of side projects. How can I do that? So if you want to find out more, keep watching. So the most important tool in my day life to keep organizing, like keep track of everything, put my schedule, organize all of my workload and projects, and all of that is Notion. And you probably already heard that from different developers, designers, or probably a lot of people, because Notion is great, great, awesome tool it just allows you to put everything in one single place. It's free for personal use, of course. And it gives you superpowers to actually have everything. For example, I can yeah, use notion in here, which I'm already doing, by the way. So I'm using notion to organize literally everything from my full stack web development job to uh, basically my, you know, like YouTube videos that I've been working on for like posting each week or whatever and shorts and my other social media, I keep trying for like side projects and how we organize them and how I put them together using Notion. So for example, in here, I got like this pretty sweet thing, which is a personal home that you can easily have like different pages inside of other pages. So for my day in life, how I start actually organizing things is I put some small calendar page in here in Notion and actually try to put the main big tasks that I need to achieve throughout the day. And those tasks are probably like recurring tasks. So each week or like I'm going to have it for like three months in a row or something, I try to put it in here and I'm only going to put the big, big, large task. I'm not going to divide these tasks into small ones. I'm only just going to list the bigger ones in here. And if you go inside of it, you're going to find like the smaller to do's. So that's what I'm basically doing in my like day life as a developer. So for example, for Monday in here, where I got research for video tutorial ideas for like the YouTube video, then you prepare for videos, you're trying to go look for the idea install different projects and try to work with it. And eventually just try to write some outline for the actual video and prepare some instructions and what you're going to talk about and all the sort of stuff. Uh, Tuesday, maybe like work on some portfolio design, which I'm currently having a big project is actually redesigning my portfolio. So that's I'm having this as a big step in here, work on it from Tuesday and probably just fix some bugs on the actual uh, job I'm having in here. And maybe like for Wednesday, work on back end projects and, and a lot of other stuff in here, Thursday as well, Friday, and so on and so forth. So you can have a really good like organization kind of like schedule if you just put like day in the weeks in here, like all data fix from Monday to Sunday, and you try to put only the bigger projects or the bigger to do's, like for example, edit upcoming videos. Of course, in editing, you can go through all those small to do's, but this is the big headline that you need to focus on. And you're only going to need like two, three, four at maximum, but I'm, I'm just believe on two, three, uh, kind of like headlines like big headlines that you need to focus throughout the day and you only need to achieve those three headlines throughout the day and of course you can go inside of this and divide this into more for example in here on monday uh, i got research video stories i can just like do you know i can add whatever notes like top ideas i want to research redux react router next js and so on and so forth you can have that as well for your like reactive dev job whatever and you can you can do like the stuff in here and preparation maybe you want to have a to-do list and whenever i finish up something i just like take it in here and it's always there right Right? And for next week, I'm going to have the same schedule in here, maybe some teeny tiny small changes for that particular week, maybe I have a vacation or something, I can easily go ahead and move this I, I have vacation on Monday, so I'm going to be coming like uh, Wednesday or something, I move that task I need to do in here, and it can just like discard other tasks or whatever, which is making it super easy to control notion and thus you can you can access it through on your mobile whatever you want, actually, which makes it super, super easy to keep track of. Oh, wait a second. And I forgot to tell you, actually, one of the best ways I actually use personally for fixing problems, finding new ideas and actually exploring my thoughts into a paper sheet. And this basically just helps me a lot actually explore what's going on in my head and better visualize my ideas and thoughts into a better kind of like solution that I can have. And one of this is actually using a notebook in here and actually trying to put literally everything inside of that notebook. For example, you want to have a to do list. So for example, you can put everything on a to do list in here and you can write it down. Just just try to explore what's going on in your mind. So once you write it down in here, you're gonna find a lot of like a lot of ideas you didn't know about, you try to like, 
construct the ideas that you have and better shape them, which makes it super, super awesome. Or the other thing I really enjoy is actually having the architecture or just visualizing what's going on in your head. For example, putting an architecture of a backend website in here or the backend architecture of how your website is going to be working. For example, you got a server, you got maybe an API that you want to work with, maybe like you got two clients, like a mobile and then another web browser clients, and you can just have all the details. And just by putting this sketch, small, sketchy kind of paper sheet architecture in here, you when you write it down, you can explore a lot more what's going on in your head, you can find easily the flaws, you can fix it, you can know exactly what to search for in Google. And this, believe me, it helps me a lot it helps me a ton and ton of times. And it definitely will help you. And as we all know, us as actual developers, we use the browser a lot, like a lot more than the actual code is or the ID we work on. So the browser is actually a very important place to be on. And we spend like an enormous amount of time going through tabs, opening new tabs, looking for other tabs, which kind of like causes a lot of issues. And you actually spend a lot of time just looking for tabs or creating or finding old tabs in the history, which makes it super, super awful. Now, the awesome tool that I use to manage my tabs and I keep them in like small workspaces and those workspaces can provide like superpowers to control literally everything that happens inside of your browser is called Workana. So Workana, hopefully I'm spelling that right to be honest, but Workana in here is a great extension for Chrome and I think you actually available for um, Firefox too, but I use it for Chrome and it works smoothly. So it's actually an extension that allows you to have multiple workspaces. And what I mean by that, so it's creating here, it always has something like pinned in here, which is called Workana, which is like always, always gonna be the first tab that you're always gonna find on any you know browser window that you're gonna be opening. And it's called Workana. So this is what it looks like once you open it, you have like your account and everything. And this is like your, your workspaces dashboard. And what I mean by workspaces is actually having like each workspace can have different tabs than the other workspace. This way you can organize multiple tabs and many tabs on different workspaces and you can have them all at the same place, which makes it super easy to access. So for example, you can have a gazillion amount of tabs. And, and if you were wondering how I was able to actually have all these tabs like open in here, it's that's because we're kind of actually have some suspender. So it actually suspends some tabs which are not like recently visited and it makes the RAM kind of like chill off. So the main idea behind workspace is to have multiple tabs. So for example, you can go to the YouTube video and see where kind of like changes that immediately changes and switches to the other tabs or maybe Oh, I want to prepare for the video today. So just click on it and get all the tabs that I used like last week or a couple of days ago that I'm trying to actually prepare my videos with and just like find them right there. They never get lost. And if you close something in here and you can easily open it because everything is saved on the cloud with this really awesome icon that's up in here. And how I personally actually use this is it allows you to basically add tasks or to do's like small to do's into right into your browser. And the awesome part about like you clearly in here added to do like research and inspire from other best dev portfolios, whatever. And this like to do right in here, you can easily go ahead and attach a tab into it. So I click on it, I attach a tab which is like this GitHub repo, I click on it, it takes me right into the repo or basically right into the tab that I wanted to go through. So that way I don't get lost. And if I add a to do and I get back to it, like next week, I can easily figure out what that to do is, and all the link tabs, and you can attach tabs, you can attach many things, maybe when I do due dates, which I really recommend, which kind of like keeps me focused, and you can get always a notification from Arcana saying, Oh, you got this task that you need to finish before this August 31st or something. And alongside that you got also notes so you can add small notes in here or just like big notes saying what you're actually looking for and of course you can just link that to different web pages that you want to look for like this one in here and it makes it super super easy so i use this for everything i put all the workspaces in here from development youtube videos to you know whatever gaming you want to work on a side project i always create a new workspace for it and i create like my small tasks in here and actually assign all the tabs to the small task or to do's I created that way I keep them linked. And whenever I want to access that workspace, I know exactly which place I'm heading, because it all makes sense with this really awesome UI, and very easy to access. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored whatsoever by Workana or any other kind of tool I'm saying in here, just just like my own preference and what I use as developer and as content creator, what I use in my daily life, like, 
what tools I'm using. And this is actually the tools that I absolutely enjoy using. And the other really underrated kind of feature in many operating systems from operating systems like Windows or Mac OS X, which I'm using right here, or even Linux, they all have this feature which called virtual desktops. And what this one allows you actually to create multiple desktops, and you can easily navigate between those desktops very, very easily. And you can open like main applications on those virtual desktops, and you can access them very easily. For example, in here, if I have like my desktops and it got six, which is pretty normal. But for as a developer, you can have like a lot more 200 or whatever. And you can have all this stuff. Each desktop has like one app or two, you can easily access and you can just like micromanage and really quickly jump between those desktops. For example, one desktop in here is like for I have the figma design, maybe another desktop I have, you know, the like editor in here, uh, another one I have like my, you know, Chrome and all the tabs I open and here I have my code editor, uh, maybe Figma, another code editor. And for example, when it access like Postman in here, if you do some requests, you can easily do them. And the awesome part as well is you can click control and up arrow key. And this is of course in Mac OS X. And if you have like Windows or Linux, you can look for the shortcut, but they probably all have like the same thing in here. You can easily see all the applications that are open and you can easily navigate between all the desktops or even move apps to different desktops, or you can create another desktop in here very easy, it comes from nowhere. And you can easily access literally whatever you want with this really awesome virtualization and kind of like micromanagement or window management kind of system. Really love it.